Hello, in this tutorial, I will show how to generate images using AI tool called Stable Diffusion. You can run Stable Diffusion locally on your computer or use services like Dream Studio or Hugging Face. I will use Dream Studio. The first thing that we need to do is to write the right prompt. Prompt is a text string that we submit to the system so that it can create an image from it. Generally, the more specific details we provide, the better results the system will generate for us. But finding the right prompt can be challenging. To make things easier, you can use resources like Lexica. Lexica is a collection of images with prompts. Once we find a relevant image, we can click on it to see the prompt. Copy the prompt and paste it to the stable diffusion. By default, Dream Studio generates a batch of the four images. Let's change the number of images to generate a single image. You might wonder why the image generated by AI doesn't look exactly like the one we saw in Lexica. It is normal behavior since the prompt is the only one of the signals that we provide to stable diffusion. Later in this video, I will show what settings to change to create an exact copy of the original image. The second setting is a model. There are a few versions of stable diffusion available. The latest stable release is version 2.1. As you can see, the result of the work using this model is different from what we had with a previous version. The next setting is the sampling steps. Think of steps as iterations of the image creation process. During the first steps, the image looks more like a visual noise where individual elements are blurry. With every iteration, the system changes the image by adding more details to the existing visual composition or changing the image quality. The default sampling step is 30. It is a relatively low number of steps. Let's change it to 70 steps. It is clear that the image now looks more visually polished. Next setting is called Seed. Once you find an image you like and want to adjust it a bit to make it look perfect, you cannot modify prompt and click Dream again because Stable Diffusion will likely produce a completely new image. You need to save the number of the image in the field Seed. Now let's modify the prompt and generate the image again. You can see that the system generated an alternative version of the original image. If you use a long prompt and want to tell the AI to focus on particular words, you can highlight the words to the AI using parenthesis. Put parenthesis around the highly important words, and it will accentuate these words to the stable diffusion. You can see that the new version of the image looks more in the style of GTA comics. Let's remove parenthesis to ensure that the system will show the previous version of the image. Let's remove the seed number. Now the system should generate a completely new image. CFG scale is the next setting that we will discuss. This setting says how close the stable diffusion will listen to our prompt. Lowering the scale to zero means that AI will likely ignore the prompt. When we up the scale to the max, AI will strictly follow the prompt. Usually, it's better not to make the scale too high and to choose a value like 10. It will give AI more freedom. Last one, we can use an image as a source for stable diffusion so that the system can create images from it. Let's go to Lexica to find our image and prompt. Download the image, copy the prompt and paste it to the Dream Studio. You can see a setting called Image Strength. The closer it goes to zero, the less the new image generated by AI will look like the original image. The closer it goes to 100, the more the new image generated by AI will look like the original image.
Let's make it 50 and see what variation it will create for us. That's all for now. If you have any questions about stable diffusion, please leave a comment. And hit the like button if you like this video.